guys, good morning. I had uh, one of the worst nights of my life. Really bad night for dermatillomania. Don't think I have any skin left on my foot. Some of my fingers are rough, so that was not fun. And then uh, woke up in a pool of blood because I have a uterus that likes to shed once a month. So that was fun. Both babies were crying and I was like, I have to go clean up the blood. I didn't know what to do. I didn't know what to do. And Maisie's feeling very much like must be with mommy today. She's most days, they both are most days, but Maisie really today. This is the first time she's let me not have her in my lap or in my arms without screaming and it's because I pulled out my makeup. So now they'll be happy for five minutes because they get to put my makeup while I put my makeup on. I'll see you guys in a little bit. I'm gonna keep my makeup. So Eric came in and grabbed Wessy Wes. She came downstairs because he wanted to go play downstairs. But Maisie doesn't want to leave my side. So we're just doing our makeup. Are we doing our makeup? <laughs> Yeah. Do you want whatever I'm holding? So Eric and I leave tomorrow for his birthday trip, like his big birthday trip. This is the big one. If you watched when we were living at that other house this summer, you might remember on his birthday, I gave him an array of gifts. We did a sailboat ride, we did a camping trip, we did wine tasting, like I gave him adventures for his birthday. And one of the adventures that we're going on is we're going to this resort that we've always thought looked really cool, but never gone to because it's very extravagant and over the top and ridiculous. And I thought, you know, this was a big birthday for him. This is a perfect opportunity to go to this place. So we're gonna go. But these were the only dates available. You know what? I was about to put on a lip stain, but I think someone sent me a lip stain in my P.O. box. So I'm just gonna have no lips for a minute while I finish talking to you guys. And I'm gonna try the lip stain downstairs. Yeah, so we're gonna go on our trip tomorrow. But big news, you guys. There's a lot of very stressful things going on in our lives these days. However, there is something very exciting. I did it. I booked a hair appointment to chop off all my hair. I am excited. I want to get bangs and I want to chop my hair off. I'm gonna have a full on mom cut. So that's happening right when we get back. So we're just gone for a couple days and then I'm chopping off all my hair. I think I'm doing it Saturday. <gasps> Thank you, a smorgasbord of yumminess. Thanks, lovey, that's so nice. You brought me yummy food. I'm gonna eat my breakfast, I'm gonna upload my Miranda video for the day. Please go watch it if you haven't already. It's my first Miranda video with Joey in literally years. I'm so excited about it. Please go check that out if you haven't seen it already. Joey and Miranda are back together again. Wow, what a smorgasbord of food. I'm gonna really enjoy this. Okay, goodbye. Okay, the Miranda video is posted and I'm going to try this lip stain water tint. Yeah. Okay, let's try it. Very bright, but very pretty. And we'll see if it stays on my lips today. Okay, hi everyone. We are doing a crumble cookie review again for my TikTok, but I'm also gonna be doing it on the vlog. So we're not gonna be looking at you, we're gonna be looking at my phone for my TikTok, but you can see here too, double the whammy. whammy. Or maybe I'll just show you the TikTok. I don't know, I'll put it in, whatever, I don't know. Last week was mostly like sugary cookies. There wasn't any chocolate, so I appreciate that there was chocolate this week. I really like the chocolate frosting on that chocolate cupcake one. Coco. They're all good. I gotta try this one. Yeah, that's my favorite. They're all really good. Gotta taste the chocolate one. I gotta say guys, I was a big crumble hater until a crumble opened up near us because you I'd always get, get them the delivered and they would be like okay. not very fresh, not very I'll good. I'm gonna break for you. <laughs> I can really... hold my piece oh, yes, because of course. I'm gonna break a piece for Coco. Of course. Flynn is the sweetest boy in the world and he loves for people to enjoy the things he's enjoying, whether it's a TV show or a toy or a food. If he likes it, he needs everyone in the room to try it in order for him to fully enjoy. He loves to share experiences and I love that about you, Flynn. I love that you are so good at sharing. I like your cookie dance. But I did not like crumble cookies, guys, because I thought they were just like dry, gross cookies. These are all so moist and I know people don't like that word. I don't have a problem with that word but they are still like moist and like gooey and yummy. And I'm typically like, unless it's fresh out of the oven, I don't want the cookie. But these, very good. They're very good. Okay, so Flynn wants me to take him to Color Me Mine to paint. But before I do, I want to just show you guys this thing that I got in the mail. I don't know how this works, but I've seen it a couple times online and apparently it like shaves your legs but it's just this. Now I have some sensory issues and the way that this feels, I don't know that I can handle it. I don't know how it works, but apparently like you just like rub it on your leg or something. By the way, look at my shoes. Aren't those cute? Eric got them for me. They're so uncomfortable, but they're so cute. <laughs> Let me look it up. It says you wash your skin with warm water and then you go
go clockwise and counterclockwise with this lightly. And it says recommended use once every two to three weeks. What? Like, because I shave every single day. I'm so confused. So I think you use it in the shower. I'm just gonna get my my leg a little wet and try. I don't have much hair right now because I shaved my legs yesterday morning, which is shocking. Usually it comes back right away. By the way, this right here, you can't really see it, but this down there. I burned myself with a hot glue gun. Not fun. But yeah, the way this feels, I don't know that I'm gonna like this just because I have like, I'm very weird with certain textures and stuff. And like the way that feels is grotesque to me. But let me get my leg wet. I read that there's a learning curve with this. So like, I don't know. Okay, it's not too bad. I mean, I didn't, I don't wanna press too hard, but you don't, it says you don't wanna to push too hard, but you don't wanna to push too, let, you don't wanna not push hard enough. I feel like it's not doing anything. <gasps> Wait, is it? It's doing something. I think it's taking off skin, but not hair, because I feel like stuff is coming off and I don't think it's hair. <gasps> I think this works. What is this magic? Is this working? I think it works. I'm so confused. It's like exfoliating and shaving my legs. Okay, I'll let you know how I feel about this after I use it in the shower. Actually, I'll probably forget. Maybe I'll remember. I don't know, that's so wild. Anyway, okay, bye. We are at the painting store and Flynn came because he wanted to paint a pumpkin, but when he got here, he saw something else that he really wanted to paint. What is it, Flynn? A butterscotch. A butterscotch? It's a butter dish. Very cute. He was very excited about it. Everything in here, that's what he wanted to do. And the colors he chose are browns and blacks. It's gonna look gorge. in the other room because Maisie, she sees me playing with him, she hears me right now, so she's crying. She's like, why is mommy talking to anyone other than me? Oh, Wes. I made a roast chicken tonight with vegetables. I haven't made this in a long time. I craved this all the time when I was pregnant with the twins because I was like on the border of having gestational diabetes. Some tests said I had it and some tests said I didn't, so I had to eat really, really well near the end of my pregnancy. Like I couldn't have any sugar and it was a nightmare. But this was something that I could eat that I knew was good for me. It was just straight up chicken and vegetables. And I craved it all the time. I make it all the time. It was very good. Hot, hot, oh, the potato was very hot. Carlita, are you here? <laughs> oh my gosh, it's Carlita. Hi Carlita, I love your song. Let's go for a ride. I love your song. Oh. It's Flynn? <laughs> I didn't know it was you, I thought it was Carlita. Hi, beauty queens. So some of you might remember that when I was living at the other house for the summer, I told you guys that I bought some Yiddy clothes and I was waiting because I wanted to make a video of me trying on Yiddy clothes and comparing it to Kim Kardashian's Skims collection. I bought Skims clothes to compare and they never came. First of all, I need to look into that because they're really expensive and that's kind of annoying. Um, but I'm also impatient. I don't want to wait anymore. I want to try these on. So let's try these on right now. First, we're going to try on the classic bodysuit moment. Here we go. So I actually like this a lot because, do you remember when I tried on, I'm kind of having flashbacks, <laughs> do you remember when I tried on those Skims clothes and it caused like controversy and everyone was talking about my freaking body and then I had to address it and like talk about it in a video. It was, go watch it. If you are still one of those people that's commenting saying that I have a ED or that you don't like my body and like some people still comment on that kind of stuff, there's a video I 
did. You can go watch that, all about that, where I explain my situation and what I'm going through and all of that. So you can go watch that if you're wondering. But I didn't even think about this until I just put this on because it's reminding me of the Skims one piece bodysuit that I tried on. And that's how, that like triggered all those comments. And now I'm like stressed about it. So now that I'm putting this on, I'm like, oh no. And I'm like reading the comments in my mind as like, I was like, see, look, and I turned and I was like, oh no. Because then I remember there were comments that like, look, she's always body checking and like looking at her body and making sure she looks a certain way and angling her body. Like I remember reading this comment. So anyway, now I'm feeling extremely insecure. <laughs> I feel like I'd rather just say that out loud as opposed to keep that inside my head and like be stressing about it. So I'm just telling you guys, now I'm feeling really insecure. Please don't comment on my body. <laughs> if you feel like you need to comment on my body or you're confused about my body or want to talk about it or learn about it or whatever, you can go watch that other video where I already addressed those types of comments. Just know as you continue watching this, I'm gonna keep trying these things on, but like now I'm like extremely self-conscious about the comments I'm gonna receive. So just don't ever comment on someone's body. Like it's completely inappropriate and not okay. Like um, just in general, thank you. Anyway, moving on. So this is the first thing. I like that it sucks me in and makes me feel like secure and tight and all taken care of, but I don't feel like, like in the Skims one, I feel like it's so tight I can't breathe. And this one, I don't feel like that. This one's really comfortable. So I really like that. The next one is um, the same exact thing I'm wearing, but it's like a thong version of it. I'm not gonna put that one on, but it's the same thing. I think I like that and I'll be able to wear it in my shows underneath my outfits. So the next one I'm gonna try on are these pants because I don't know why, but I didn't buy the top to go with these pants. Anyway, these are called the Body Butter Straight Leg Pant and they have pockets. And I just thought these seemed like really nice pajama pants. So let's try these on next. Ooh, I like actually love these. These are really, really comfortable and I freaking love that they have pockets. They're really cozy, super soft. <gasps> Oh, I'm a fan. These are fabulous. I really, really like these. I feel stupid that I didn't get like a matching top with them. I feel like they'd fit me really well if I wasn't wearing the bodysuit, but because I'm wearing the bodysuit and it kind of sucks you in, they feel a little big, but they wouldn't be big if I wasn't wearing the bodysuit. Do we like? Let's try on the next one, which is a matching bodysuit. Wait, what is this called? High-waisted shorts and a cross front bralette. Let's try it on. Ah! This one's like see-through. I don't want y'all to see the nip nips, okay? So I'm like kind of insecure right now. I feel like it's cute, but I just don't like when things are see-through. This one's not it for me. I don't like this one. Like, I'm gonna be real with you guys. Like, yes, obviously I love Lizzo and basically think we're besties because she has commented on a TikTok of mine and she has tagged me in one of her TikToks and she reposted one of my TikToks on her Instagram, but I actually don't think she knows who the heck I am. I also think I am currently leaking blood. I'm gonna cut it to you straight. She did not send me this stuff. I bought this, I paid for it with my own money. She does not know who I am. I think her PR team just interacts with me on social media or something. I still love her. I think she's fabulous. I love everything she stands for. I love her music. I think she's incredible. Um, so I wanted to buy her stuff to support and to try it. And I'm gonna be real. I don't like this. I don't like that it's see-through. That makes me feel insecure. But also this like tight waistband, it digs in. That's not the look I'm going for. Plus I feel like it would give major camel, you know what I'm saying? And it's so thin and kind of see-through that like if you sweat in any locations, you would see it. So this one might be cute, but like, I don't like this at all. And I really want to take it off. So I'm going to take it off. Okay. I feel so much better. Um, yeah, that was not it for me. I did not like that last one at all. Yeah. So I just have to get ready to go. It's midnight and we leave at 8 AM for our little vacation trip. Just me and Mr. Eric for his final birthday extravaganza. And I'm kind of nervous, honestly, because it's like such a weird location and experience just because it's the unknown. I feel like nervous about it. I feel like when I travel for tour, I don't really get nervous because I've been to most cities before, but also like a tour is like my thing and I know what I'm doing and I know the routine. I know, you know, I know how it works, but this is like all new to me. I've never been to this place and I don't know what we're going to do. We're only going for two days, so it's not like anything crazy, but still I'm like kind of like freaking out about it a little bit. And I've just been packing for like hours because I don't even know how to pack for it. I like, don't know what to bring. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like a lot of sorts about this. But anyway, um, thanks for watching everybody I hope that you have uh, should I answer a tortilla dog question before I go okay I'll answer one stop begging me okay I have one of the top comments I want to respond to so a couple of people were commenting on my hair because my hair obviously is curly and it was bigger and curlier yesterday um, someone said Colleen went on and on and on about how it would take hours to make her hair curly and nice and she literally just gets out of the shower in this lets it air dry and it's perfection lol and there's like a bunch of likes on it yes recently in a oh my light just turned off recently in a vlog I talked about how having curly 
hair is kind of a pain in the booty and it's really hard to maintain because you can't just like get out of the shower and go. You have to like diffuse it or plop it or put product in it and then scrunch it and then all this stuff and then touch it up with a curling iron and it's just like kind of not really manageable. Whereas when I straighten my hair or straighten it and then curl it with a straightener, which is what I always do, my hair kind of can stay like that for two, sometimes three days, like, and just kind of stay. I don't have to do anything to it. It's very nice. And with curly hair, that doesn't happen. So yeah, maybe it looked like in the vlog yesterday, I just like literally just took a shower and then let it air dry. And it was like this big, poofy, beautiful, like curly mane, but that is not what happened. So I took a shower and then let it air dry and it had to air dry for like a few hours. Like my hair takes a really long time to dry. That's not realistic if you like have anything to do or anywhere to be. So like if I were to like go to an office job or if I were to have a meeting or if I needed to go do something, anything, like I wouldn't want to go with like stringy, wet, frizzy hair and let it air dry for three hours, especially because in order to get it to the place where you guys saw it halfway through my vlog yesterday, I'm work from home. So my, my hair was air drying at home. And then once it got dry, I noticed it was really frizzy. So then I took a curling iron to it for like maybe 15 minutes, 10, 15 minutes and just like picked out random pieces and just kind of wrapped it around a curling iron and like touched it up a little bit. That's not manageable really for like a day-to-day -day life kind of thing because it does take hours because it took hours for it to air dry. And not to mention when I got out of the shower, I had to put all these products in it. I had to scrunch it. Um, I didn't diffuse it yesterday, obviously, but then um, it took a few hours to air dry. And then I was able to curl it with a curling iron. But then today it doesn't stay guys. So like, yeah, sure. My hair maybe might look fine to some of you today, but to me, it looks really stringy and gross. It's like some pieces are straight and some pieces are curled and some pieces are just frizzy and some pieces are wavy here. I feel like I need to turn on my lights so you can see. See like this piece is like just one long straight piece, but then underneath here, it's like ringlets. You see what I'm saying? So it's like some pieces are straight and some pieces are curled. It just looks like a ratted, like nasty mess. And I, you know, obviously I was just at home today, so I didn't care. But like, if I, I wouldn't want to like go anywhere or see anyone with my hair like this. Cause I feel like it looks like really ratty and messy. It might not from the view, like from the camera, like to you guys, but like when you're in person with me and the lighting is normal, you, you would see like, oh, her hair looks like she hasn't brushed it in seven years. That's what I meant by like, it's not manageable. It's like, I had to wait hours before I could touch it up with a curling iron. I'd put all these products in it. And then the second day I have to, you know, I'd have to like throw it up in a bun or wash it again, which is annoying. And so that's why I just like straightening it because when I straighten it, it can last two to three days. And that's way easier than like dealing with it being like stringy and matted and gross on the second day. So yeah, thank you everyone who was being really sweet about my hair yesterday. Like I actually did enjoy like my natural hair today. I haven't had it curly in a really long time. I just straighten it or throw it in a bun every day. But since I'm cutting it, I'm like, oh, maybe I should enjoy my hair being long and curly for a couple days because I'm about to cut it all off. So um, yeah, anyway, thank you for your sweet compliments. But yeah, no, it's not just like, I didn't just be like, <laughs> let it air dry. And then it's like big and beautiful. It was like very frizzy and I had to touch it up. I have to close my suitcase, pack it up, go to bed. I'll see you guys tomorrow at travel day. Unzies. Okay, let's go.